When you introduce time tracking to your team, your employees will have a lot of questions. For example, what if I need to use my work computer for private reasons and don't want desk time to track anything? Or what if I have a task or a meeting that doesn't require my computer? How can I make sure this is tracked as productive time? Well, don't worry, we have all the answers. In this video, we'll talk about the different types of time you can track with desk time. Productive, unproductive, idle, offline and private. If you're using desk time, the three most important categories will be productive, unproductive and idle time. Productive time is what your employee has spent on productive apps. Similarly, unproductive time is what they've spent on unproductive apps. These two categories will depend on what sites and applications you've set as productive and unproductive. If you want to edit app productivity settings, we have a video on how to do that, so be sure to check it out. Idle time is basically a time gap. If your employee shows no activity for more than three minutes, desk time will go idle, meaning it won't track any time. If you've enabled offline time in your account settings, your employees will be able to edit idle time. This can be useful in case they ever have, for example, an impromptu meeting or a task that they've done well away from their computer. So let's talk more about offline time. Not all work happens on our computers, right? I'm a content writer. Sometimes when I have writer's block, I like to write with pen and paper. Or when I'm filming a video, I'm not taking a break. I'm still productive. In cases like this, where employees have tasks that take them away from their computers, you can allow them to manually log in offline time. To enable this feature for your employees, go to settings, then select account. Scroll down to the offline time drop-down menu on the right side of the page. When you select enable, your employees will be able to fill in their productivity gaps without your approval. However, if you want to stay on top of your team's activities, you can choose the approve only option. In this case, you'll be able to view and manually approve each case of offline time individually in the offline time section in your menu. When your employee wants to add offline time, all they have to do is go to their My Desk Time page and scroll down to their productivity bar. After clicking on a portion of idle time, a pop-up will appear, allowing them to log in offline time. But what if your employee has an emergency situation and has to use the work computer for private reasons? Or maybe they just want to take a 10 minute break, relax and watch some videos on YouTube without desk time logging it as unproductive time. In these situations, they can use private time. Private time is a feature that allows your employees to take a digital timeout from their computer. If they turn on private time, desk time won't track any activity or data, so they're free to do what they need. To turn on private time, click on the desk time icon in your toolbar. For Windows users, it'll be down here. For Apple and Linux users, it'll be in the upper right corner of your screen. Select private time and there you have it. You're now in private mode. The important thing is to remember to turn it off. You can do this the same way you turn it on. Click on private time and it'll start tracking as usual. If you're worried you'll forget, you can set private time reminders that appear as notifications on your screen every 15, 35 or 45 minutes. Remember, your employees can always view their productivity stats on their My Desk Time page. But if you want to check an individual employee's productivity levels, go to the team members section and select the employee you want to view. Once you click on their name, you'll be taken to their My Desk Time page, where you can have a look at their data. All right, that's all from me. See you in the next video. Bye.